Welcome to Stone Rose Interpretive Center. Our fossil site has been 50 million years in the making, thus making it one of the most unique fossil sites in the country. Before you journey to the fossil beds, we will walk you through what you need to know. If you haven't registered yet, please do so. At the desk, you will sign in and pay for the day, and you will receive an entry badge for the dig site. Also, if needed, you can rent tools to help you find fossils. Now on to the fun stuff. There at the fossil site, formerly a lake bed, is where you'll find layers of shale, consisting of volcanic ash hardened into sedimentary rock, impressions of plants, insects, and fish that lived millions of years ago. So, when you're at the fossil site, which is about two and a half blocks from here, look for rocks with well-defined layers. For better success in finding fossils, there's two types of rocks to avoid. First is coarse-grained sandstone like this piece, which could contain fossils but is difficult to open. The other is a red-colored rock, which is caused by high concentration of mineral, thus ruining the fossil inside. When you find a good rock, Place your rock between your feet, your knees, or brace it on another rock. Now, take your chisel, place it in the center of the layer like so. Then, tap the chisel gently with the hammer. You may have to move the chisel to various places on the layer and repeat tapping the chisel to reveal the possible treasure inside. These treasures are called carbon compression fossils. When the layers are opened, there will be a layer of carbon residue. Be careful with the impression because it can be smudged easily by touching it, losing detail. Set it aside for about 10 minutes to dry. Other things you may find while fossil hunting are worm tracks that are fossilized worm burrows, Dendrites that look like plants but are actually mineral stains made by water passing through the rock. And lastly, concretions composed of deposits of iron disulfide. You may take one of each of these home with you, as well as three actual fossils you find. Now that you're done searching for fossils, bring everything. Even if it looks like a small speck, it could be something significant. Bring them back to the interpretive center and we will look at the specimens with you and explain what you have found. As a side note, since we are a science institution, we do reserve the right to retain fossils that we deemed noteworthy for scientific or educational purposes. Currently, worldwide, there are approximately 20 scientists studying samples of fossils from this very site. If we do retain a fossil, we will take your name and address and you are recorded as the finder, which stays with the fossil as long as it exists, such as these. We want to remind you, when you are on the site, you are digging at your own risk. So please, be careful at all times and don't climb the rock faces. Plus, remind your children not to run or throw rocks. Now, go out there and find something amazing.